Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new video. Happy December 1st and happy day one of Bookmas. So I plan to upload a video every other day leading up until Christmas this year and it is called the 12 days of Bookmas. I know there's a lot of other booktubers that are doing this too and I'm so excited to be doing it. I've got all my videos all planned out. I'm very very excited that it's the Christmas season. I am just feeling very very festive lately and loving every minute of it and today's book miss video is going to be my december tbr so if you don't know this year i've been doing three different challenges every month when selecting books that i want to read for the month the first one is a reread because i love to reread books and for the this month's monthly reread i have a lot of rereads in december just because i don't know i feel like first of all i just i want to reread certain books every year and so I don't know December I feel like always has a ton of rereads for me it was the same last year I reread re a ton but also like I don't know when I'm filming videos of like wrapping it up for the year and my favorite books and books I DNF'd and stuff like that I don't want to be like having three days left of December and then find a new favorite book of all time so I tend to reread in the month of December so I don't I don't know mess that up for myself I guess I don't know anyways the month the book that I'm reading this month rereading this month is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. If you don't know, this is my favorite book of all time. I have read it nine times already. This will be my 10th reread of it. And I'm just, I'm so excited for this. I think about this book literally all the time. I love it so, so much. And I'm very happy to be rereading this in December. The next challenge that I do for myself every month is to read my book of the month pick and this month I have four books in my book of the month box which is only happening because I am a book of the month BFF and so they give me the book of the month winner like a book of the year they call it the book of the year winner for free so I chose you could choose from the finalists, but I had most of the books that were the finalists already, except for Four Wins by Kristen Hanna. I haven't read this one. It's a historical fiction, and I'm not a huge fan of historical fiction usually, but I've read Kristen Hanna's books before that are historical fiction and really, really enjoyed them, so I figured I would give this one a shot. I think it's set during the Dust Bowl, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but it was free so I chose it but my monthly pick for this month is a history of hidden places oh god now I feel like I'm getting the name wrong a history of hidden places I think by Shay Earnshaw this is Shay Earnshaw's debut adult novel and it sounds really interesting so I'm definitely intrigued to read this one I know that Ashley from Ashley's Little Library also selected it as her book of the month pick or as an add-on I'm not sure but hopefully she reads it this month so we can talk about it I might have to message her and ask her if she's gonna read it but I also chose the holiday romance one I don't remember what it's called either I'll pop up the picture it's about two twins the something swap the holiday swap I don't even know who it's by I suck but here's the picture of it I just added it on because even though I'm not really in the mood for romances anymore, I just thought like a holiday romance would fit my festive mood. So I'm going to give it a shot. Last year I got In a Holidays by Kristen Lauren, Christina Lauren. Oh my god, I'm so frazzled right now. I think I'm just so excited. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really like In a Holidays, even though it was like a festive. I liked the festive part of that book, but the romance was just not for me. So hopefully this one is better. It's about twin sisters like swapping lives which is like very parent trap and I think that'll be really good and then the other book that I added on is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James which is Jan's from Jen Agaton's book of the month <laughs> book of the month pick it's her book club pick for the full moon book club oh my god I'm a mess right now I'm like literally I don't know if you can tell I'm just like I'm just so I don't know I'm in a silly goofy mood <laughs> It's her book club pick, which I am guest hosting, guest hosting, co-hosting, guest. I'm the guest for her book club live show, which I think is on December 18th. So obviously I need to read this one for that. So I guess I'm just going to put all of these, even though I'm just going to specifically put my book of the month like a monthly pick in my TBR. I'm gonna try to get to all four of these books this month. The Kristen Hanna one I might save for next year, but 
yeah. So I've got quite the packed book of the month box. Okay, moving on. The last challenge that I do every month is a card challenge. I shuffle up a de deck of cards and then I have like prompts for whatever card I choose and then I'll pick a book based on that prompt. So let's shuffle these up. Okay, good enough. Let's go with this card. Four of Hearts. Okay, Four of Hearts is a nonfiction book, which I don't have any nonfiction books right now, but I do have a nonfiction audiobook like on hold at my library. I haven't gotten it yet, but it says it's going to be coming like in the next like week or two so I should have it in December and it's again I don't know the name of it um it's like the little book of Huga or something something about Huga <laughs> I'll pop that picture up on the screen as well it's all about like the Danish like comfort living and I'm just like in the cozy vibes and I've been watching a ton of Morgan Long's videos if you don't watch her she is literally the coziest most comforting booktuber and just youtuber that i've probably ever watched like she's just incredible she is a very positive individual so if you just need like an uplifting thing to watch her videos are just honestly incredible and i love everything about them and she very much believes in huga and so i just wanted to know a little bit more about it and so i put this audiobook on hold and yeah it should be coming due and it's nonfiction, so it'll fit for this challenge Okay, so now let's talk a little bit more about the other books that I want to try to get to this month. It's going to be a busy month, but um, audiobooks are where it's going to come in clutch here. So the next book that I want to get to in December for sure is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This will be a reread for me and I have been eagerly anticipating this reread for a few months now. Like it's something that I've been like putting off until December because it's a very wintry book and very cozy comforting vibes for me and I just remember really really loving this when I read it a few years ago. I'm very very much looking forward to The Starless Sea. If you haven't read Erin Morgenstern's books and you like very lyrical, poetic, magical, whimsical writing and stories, you definitely need to check out her books because they're incredible. Then I also plan to reread A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. So I know that I'm reading Akamath and then I'm going to skip the reread of Akawar just so I can get straight to this in December because this is set around winter solstice and it talks about like holiday festivities and it's just a really short, you know, like 200 page novella basically and I just really like it. <laughs> I basically try to reread this one every December because it just puts me in like the holiday mood and it should be a very quick read. I could probably read this, you know, in a single day. So this is going on the TBR. And then yet again, another reread. See, I told you December is like the month of rereads for me. But I want to get to In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. I reread the first three books in the Wayward Children series last month, maybe one in October. But this is the next one that I'm on. I just finished Beneath the Sugar Sky. And this is my favorite one in the series. So I'm really, really excited to reread this one. I think I've reread it two or three times already. But it's definitely my favorite so far in the series. And the next book in the series comes out right at the beginning of 2022. So I kind of want to get through the series, you know, reread the series before that one comes out. But for sure I want to get to this one in December because it's just so good. It's my favorite. So yeah, those are all of the books that I'm going to officially add to my TBR. I do have plans to read other things, but I think I'm just going to stick with that for now because like I said in my last TBR video, sometimes if I add too many books and then I don't get to them, I kind of feel like a failure. So I don't want to do that to myself. This is a month of love. <laughs> So yeah, definitely stay tuned for my book miss videos. Like I said, there'll be one every other day leading up until Christmas. And I'm just really excited to film all of those and share them with all of you because I, I remember doing it last year. It was my first year like 
on booktube last year so december was like a really fun time and i put out so many videos last december and i want to do something similar because it's just really fun to put out you know the end of the year videos so stay tuned for those and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what books you are planning to pick up in december if you're reading any festive books or if any of these are also on your december tbr i would love to know that and if you don't know what to comment, feel free to comment some kind of festive emoji or your favorite emoji, whatever that may be. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!